now let us discuss about the differences between array list and linked list in collections in java programming language first let's see the first difference array list is a class which implements list interface list interface so what is array list it is a class which implements list interface so we can use all the methods of the list interface in array list class whereas linked list is a class it is also a class which implements list interface and dq interface dq interface so what is linked list linked list is a class which implements list interface and dq interface dq means double ended queue so we can use the methods of list interface and dq interface in linked list class now let's see the next point uh, array list means here we use as uh, dynamic array dynamic array or uh, this can also be called as uh, growable array growable array data structure data structure so the data structure which is used in array list is dynamic array or growable array so dynamic means according to our requirement we can increase the size of the array or we can decrease the size of the array there is no problem there is no restriction on the size of the array according to our requirement we can store uh, many number of elements as we want whereas in linked list uh, the data structure is double linked list or doubly linked list we know about double linked list what is a double linked list the name itself specifies the meaning we have double links so we have this is one link this is another link between that we can source we can store some data so this link previous link so this link stores address of the previous node whereas this link stores address of the next node so here the data structure is doubly linked list okay next here less memory less memory is required for storing the element why because here we are storing only one element whereas here more memory is required more memory is required why because in addition to the element we have to store previous field and next field whereas here for each location we store only one element so here what is array list we can store many number of elements array list means collection of elements uh, so for storing that element for storing an element less memory is required but here for storing the element more memory is required why because in addition to the element we have to store this previous and uh, next field also okay uh, next array list means it is a collection of elements which are stored in uh, contiguous memory locations so contiguous means adjacent memory locations let the first element is at 1000 next element will be at 1001 or 1002 or 1004 depends upon the capacity of the first element suppose if the first element capacity is 4 bytes then the second element will be stored at 1004 next 1008 1012 so that is called as contiguous memory location but here in linked list here the elements need not be stored in contiguous according to the uh, according to the memory just we can store where the free space is there we can store that node in that free space uh, next next one is if you take the array list accessing or accessing means retrieval operation retrieval operation is very very faster 
Why? Because Arrayist uses random access. Arrayist means here arrays. Random access. Random access means we can access any element directly with the help of that index. If we want to access fiftieth element, then with the help of that index forty nine, we can access that element. So we can say that accessing our retrieval uh, element is very very faster. Whereas here. The accessing or retrieval is very very slow here. Let us assume that I want to access tenth element. Then we have to access tenth element starting from the first element. So for every element accessing, we need to start from first node only. So first node contains address of the second node. Next to second node contains address of the third node. So too many uh, accessings are needed. So we can say that here, uh, accessing or retrieval is very very faster. Let us assume that we want to access hundred node. Then also we have to start from first node only. So node one to node two, node two to node three. So likewise the traversal will be done. Okay. Next, here insertion or deletion operation is slower. Whereas in linked list, insertion or deletion operation is faster. So why in array list insertion or deletion operation is slower? Why because too many shiftings are needed. So let we have an array like this. So ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. I want to insert an element at zeroth position. Then we have to shift all these elements one position to the right. So too many shiftings are needed when we want to perform either insertion or deletion also. Let us assume that we want to delete ten. Then we need to shift all the elements one position to the left. So too many shiftings are needed in order to perform insertion and deletion operations. Whereas here there is no need of any shiftings. So just we have to change the links only. So let we have a list like this. Let we have a list like this. Let us assume that we want to insert the node at this position. Then simply change the links. So there is no need to shift the elements. So that's why, while performing the accessing or retrieval operation, it is better to use array list. While performing insertion and deletion operation, it is better to use linked list. Okay. So these are some differences between array list class and linked list class.